One basic truth can be used as a foundation for a mountain of lies. And if we dig down deep enough in the mountain of lies and bring out that truth, if you set it on top of the mountain of lies, the entire mountain of lies will crumble under the weight of that one truth. And there is nothing more devastating to a structure of lies than the revelation of the truth upon which the structure of lies was built. Because the shock waves of the revelation of the truth reverberate and continue to reverberate throughout the earth for generations to follow. Awakening even those people who had no desire to be awakened to the truth. My dear and esteemed viewer, my dear esteemed and noble viewer, viewer there have been many related sequential coincidences all throughout my life. Incidents that by themselves would have led nowhere. Statistically, the odds against the same or a related sequence of events happening to one individual are astronomically high. It is this series of incidences, of incidents, of occurrences in my life that have convinced me that God that the source of all creation, the infinite prime creator, the divine grid programmer, has had a hand in my life. I do not believe in fate, nor do I believe in accidents. I cannot and I will not accept the theory that long sequences of unrelated accidents determine world events. It is inconceivable that those with power and wealth would not band together with a common bond, a common interest, and a long-range plan to decide and direct the future of the world. For those with the resources to do otherwise would be totally irresponsible. I know that I would be the first to organize a conspiracy to control the outcome of the future if I were such a person and a conspiracy did not yet exist. I would do it in an attempt to ensure the survival of the principles in which I believe, the survival of my family, my survival, and the survival of the human race, if for no other reason. It is my contention and my belief, therefore, that a grand game of chess is being played on a level that we can barely imagine. And we are the pawn. We have been the pawn. Pawns are valuable only under certain circumstances and are frequently sacrificed to gain an advantage. Anyone who has studied military strategy is familiar with the concept of sacrifice. Those who have seriously studied history have probably discovered the real reason we go to war on a regularly scheduled basis. My most dear and esteemed viewer, before you hit that subscribe button, before you leave this video a thumbs up, before you even watch the next video here from the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for Compassion and Strength, I encourage you to play at least two complete games of chess, of chess, because you must learn the rules they play by. The Illuminati, the Deep State, the Dark Cabal, the Hidden Hand of Fate. I want you to play at least two complete games of chess. You must realize objectively that some pieces are more valuable than others and that the king is the most valuable of all. You must learn the reality of this fact, of this simple fact, of the rules that govern the game of chess. You cannot learn reality if you get caught up in the fantasy, the fantasy of, it's not fair, it's not fair. 
You must come to know that the ultimate outcome of the game is the only thing that counts. You were lied to when you were told that it does not matter whether you win or lose if it's how you play the game. Winning in the world of the elite is everything. Indeed, it is the only thing. The power elite intend to win. Namaste. Namaskaram.